Good morning. Good morning. Good morning from the thriving metropolis that is Capus Casing, Ontario. It's kind of chilly out there today. Good thing we got our jacket. I'm gonna have to bring a toque on my next trip. This is getting crazy. No joke. You can feel the winter in the air already. Hey, Diesel. This is crazy. I don't even have a toque in the truck yet. I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't ready. What kind of Canadian am I? Not ready for winter. You have to be ready for winter all the time, even in July. You have to be ready. So a toque is what you Americans call a beanie. Its original and proper name is a toque. That, that's what you call it. I need one of those. It goes on my head, keeps my head warm. The season of hats is slowly, actually it's pretty quickly fading away. I can still use it when I go down to the US, but up here in Canada, it's quickly fading away. Time for toques. But it's good. This is the time of year that sort of cleanses the country, right? Cleanses the country of all the things that would normally kill you with poison. The cold comes in and it kills it first, so it can't kill you. It's the only thing winter's good for. He's in there somewhere. <laughs> he loves the long grass. See his little head popping up there. Diesel. Diesel. There he is. <laughs> Lord. anything different about Highway 11 up here? Maybe not so much here where the barricades are or on the sides, but you notice that they're paving the shoulders? Somebody's been watching my videos. Well done. Well done. Look at this. Paved shoulders. They're not big enough. I mean, it's never good enough, Trucker Josh. I know, but if you're going to pave the shoulders, you got to make it at least big enough so that we can park on the side of the road if we break down. But this is an improvement. Very well done. I always say, like, on these Highway 11s, on this Highway 11 up here, there used to be just soft gravel shoulders, and you could actually sink right in and get stuck if you hit the shoulder. So if we break down on this highway, we're stuck right in the lane with traffic coming up at you in the dark at 100 kilometers an hour, 60 miles an hour. There's nowhere to pull off the road. Or if there's an emergency. So now they're paving the shoulders, but they're only, what, four foot wide, maybe? So at least you can sort of half get out of the lane. It's better. It is better. And they've got the rumble strips on the sides there now. So it's an improvement. But if you're going to spend the money, I'd... My, that's what I always say. If you're going to spend the money, do it right the first time, right? Because... Whatever. Better than it was before, right? As long as things are getting better, that's a good thing. It's very nice, man. Very nice. It probably costs a lot of money. It probably does, man. 
But just for a couple of pennies more, I mean, just saying. So there's always a lot of construction on these roads. They're always doing something. Quite honestly, I am very happy about this though because it was pretty dangerous. If your truck wandered just barely over the white line, for whatever reason, you'd get sucked right into the ditch right away and it caused a lot of accidents. Now they have rumble strips on the pavement here on the side. So it'll snap you out of whatever daze you were in and get you back in the lane instead of sucking you right into the into the forest, you know? It's probably gonna save quite a few lives. So, so that's nice. At least we're making things better, right? Dawson Road here is sort of like the shortcut. Otherwise, we gotta go through more of Thunder Bay. Now, Thunder Bay's an alright town, it's a nice town. 200 meters, slide right on Dawson Road, Highway 102. Already told them, Karen. It's sort of like the shortcut. This will get us back to Highway 17 on the other side. Oh, and there's traffic coming. Of course, there is. Of course, there is. We'll just wait here then. Whole bunch of it. So yeah, nothing really exciting happening today other than just uh, slowly meandering our way through Northern Ontario. <laughs> Why are you stopping for me, buddy? No, 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 I'm heavy, heavy, heavy. Okay, you're gonna impede traffic to let me in. It would've been much better if you would've just went past me and you would've made that light. Continue on but thanks road anyway. <laughs> Some people they try to be helpful a little too much and they end up getting more in the way than helping. But uh, at least they're being nice, right? Trying to anyway. We started our day so late. So it's getting dark already. We're only halfway home. The rest of the day is going to be at night. So hopefully the moose stay off the highway. Crazy mooses. I saw, uh, I came up to an accident last night, I, I wasn't filming at the time, but a guy had just hit a big bull moose with his pickup truck, and his truck was just messed up, but everyone seemed to be okay, and uh, the police were there pretty much right after, so I kept going on my way, but man, that is like hitting a truck. Moose are huge. Don't want to hit them. They don't move either. When they see you coming, they'll stand their ground. They'll just watch you come. And if you try to honk at them or flash your lights at them to get them to move, they'll charge you. They'll destroy your car anyway and walk away. So once you see one, if he's blocking the road, you just gotta wait. Don't try to go around him. He might see it as a threat. And if he thinks you're a threat, he will flip your car over. We found ourselves in Ignis, Ontario. I was gonna fuel up in Dryden, but... Meh, let's do it here. I don't gotta worry about it later. May as well. 
and this will get me home no problem from here. Remember, we fueled up yesterday for 558 liters. Wonder how much we'll need today. Is that DEF? That is. I've never seen that whole thing. I've never seen a DEF pump like that. Look at this thing. Is this whole thing? That's like the DEF tank above ground. And there's the nozzle. Lift up the fancy little door. Gonna put in our fancy little card. Incorrect reading. Let's try the other fancy little slot. There we go. We're gonna give our fancy numbers. I'm gonna tell them what pump we want. And there we go. Hey look, someone's watching us. Now they're watching us, watching them. Watching them, watching us. Whoa. So we just finished filling the other side. We gotta fill this side yet. How much fuel do you think we're gonna buy today? How much do you think we used since yesterday? Without knowing how far we drove or what my fuel economy was. What's your best guess? One tank took about 230 liters. I'm still extremely fascinated with this external DEF tank just sitting here between the pumps above ground. Hey, that's fascinating. I've never seen this, but this is a good idea for uh, these card locks like this where there's no real building. Like that's the building right there. Yeah. It's just like a card lock, just pumps, right? And these card locks usually never have any DEF, but now they do. Fancy. And they have it uh, enclosed in here. And I bet you anything that's heated as well. So in the winter time, the DEF won't freeze. And you can use it through all of January and February. Unlike Flying J. At Flying J, the DEF pumps freeze every winter and you have to buy it in those jugs and it costs like 10 times as much. It's really frustrating because they don't build the pumps properly for the cold weather. They build them for the southern weather in the US. They don't build them for like the northern US and Canada. So it's a big hassle, but Petro Canada, since it's just in Canada, builds their DEF pumps for winter. So what was your guess? How much fuel do you think we bought? How much fuel do, we, do you think we burnt from that place where we fueled up in Quebec to here? You got your guess? 460 liters. How close were you? I'm actually a little excited to use this thing. What are you? Oh, okay. Is it gonna reach? Oh yeah, here we go. Give her, bud. Look at that. That is fancy. Do the little shake. Men understand. Can I do this with one hand? Open that up. Oh, oh, it's sucking it back in. It's sucking it back in. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, why are you going so slow? That is weird. Okay. Perfect. All right, so. Oh, ooh, it's getting cold. It is getting cold. Let's see, how cold is it? How cold is it here? Two degrees Celsius. <laughs> it is definitely fall time. If you did not know that already, it is fall. Let's uh, let's see what that is in America speak. What is two degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit for my American friends? Oh, I added too many words in there. Okay, I confused her. Okay, fine. We'll keep it simple. What is two degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? Two degrees Celsius is 35.6 degrees Fahrenheit. There you go. Now you're in the know. You're smarter than you were five seconds ago. See? TJV. You always leave smarter than you came. Tell you what. <laughs> okay, I got another uh, four and a half hours to go to get to my destination. I have three and three quarter hours available to me to drive legally. You have three hours and 45 minutes of remaining drive time. Just had to be a part of the vlog, eh? 
I, I, you heard the woman. So let's see how far we can get. We can at least get into Manitoba with that, I think. Ontario side of the provincial border here. So this is the way we go in. I think so. Uh, I'm gonna stop at the rest area here for a night. I'm tired. We've been driving for 1,163 kilometers. I've got 34 minutes left on my clock. I think we've gone far enough. 300 meters, turn left on, Trans-Canada Highway, Highway 17. Oh wow, I've never seen this many trucks here before. Look at this. Heads up buddy, I'm coming. Oh yeah, they're gonna park right in. 200 oh. meters, turn left on, Trans-Canada Highway, hey, Highway 17. Coming in there spot. This place is full. Look at this. What do you say, Diesel? Should we call it a day? Want to shake on it? Want to shake on it? Maybe? There. Job well done once again. Good boy. So how about this? How about we go outside and then we go to bed and then we wake up and we go home. Does that sound good to you? Should we go home? Sounds good to me. Thanks for joining us today, guys. It was a long day. 1,163 kilometers. That is a, uh, I'm going to do the math for you. Don't worry. I hear you. Your weird measurements. 1,100. 722 miles. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>